Michael Hernandez here of MLH Media, and we are here tonight, A1 Combat 21 Visalia Convention Center. Blake DeCourcy, 2-0 now in your professional career. How's it feeling, my man? Got the matching do-rag with the shirt, <laughs> looking sharp right after the victory. Bro, 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 it's funny. I was wearing this for like the past two days, and all my coaches were calling me Grimace. I was like, bruh. Don't be, I was like, don't be hating on the slide, dog. I got the, I got the velvet, I got the purple, you feel me? <laughs> Shoot, but nah, dude, it feels really good. 2-0, 20 years old, feels great. There's definitely, you know, with this fight, there's still more that I can do and perfect to, you know, be better as a fighter. But definitely there was a lot of good things to take from that. I listened very well. You know, the striking with my hands landed very well. Obviously, you know, I'm very good at that low kick, so I landed with that calf kick a lot. So, you know, um, overall, when, even when it's a win, there's still a lot more that you can work on from there. You have shown your ability to strike in this cage before, and obviously at this convention center knows you very well. I mean, you've built quite the fan base over here. But, I mean, let's just talk about some of those submissions. Both of you gentlemen were throwing up. Can you kind of describe how it was like to roll with someone a little bit more? Because usually guys don't get to get Blake the snake on the ground that often. No, yeah, so... I've been working really hard on my ground game because, you know, my striking has definitely been something that I favor. So my ground game is something that I've been really trying to work on and, like, get a lot better at, whether it's jujitsu, my wrestling, wrestling defense, stuff like that. Uh, dude, Nick, Nick Fishback was one hell of an opponent. So one hell of an opponent, one hell of a wrestler, really kind of brought me back to some of my challenges earlier in my amateur career with some of those, re like, heavy wrestling guys, you know, making sure that, you know, I have to sprawl. I have to make sure I'm scrambling. You know, there's a lot of things I have to check off the list in my ground criteria. And, you know, I'm just still getting better at it. So fights like these are really good because it helps me get better, number one. But then number two, it's like, wow, I actually have been doing work and it's been paying off. <coughs> but now there's more that I got to do. A sandwich artist by day and a killer at night. But what is next for you, my man? 2-0 in your professional career. I mean, two pretty solid performances. What would you say is next for Mr. Blake the Snake DeCourcy? We're just going to keep fighting, man. I'm going to get back in the gym. Uh, obviously, I'm about to get back in Jersey Mike's. Come get my A. Hey, hey, if you're in the Huntington Beach area or you in OC, come to the Jersey Mike's on Beach in Ohio. Me and my squad will come get you. You know the deal. I got you with a sub. Come get it Snake's way, you feel me? But, um, but yeah, man, no, I'm just going to get back in the cage work on my craft, you know, see where opportunities come ahead and then just